Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel again. It's been a while since I've actually been here to be able to film. I was working on a project for a couple months um, out in LA. So I'm finally home, I'm finally back to semi-normal and I'm hopefully gonna be able to do some good videos for you guys coming up. But first, I wanted to um, share my Sephora and also my Ulta haul. I also did some shopping for some beauty products at um, a store in LA. And so I wanted to share some of those things. I realized when I was gearing up for this Sephora sale, I started really looking at these videos to see what other people were buying and what was hot right now. So I kind of wanted to just share what I ended up getting and hopefully it will end up helping some of you guys um, if you go into Sephora and you're not really sure what to buy. I haven't tried a lot of these products, so hopefully I'll be able to do a review um, at some point in the future, but for now, let's look and see what I got. Okay, so first let's start out with Sephora. I um, did not really buy that many products this last year from Sephora, so I actually only had the 10%. Um, it's so funny, usually I buy so much more, but I think this last year I've just been working so much that I just really have not bought anything, and when I did, it was either through Saks or I did buy some stuff at Ulta, but I think this year I just finally am realizing I buy way too many, I'm probably just like everyone else, I buy way too many beauty products and I never really use them. I use the same stuff over and over. So one of the first things that I did get at Sephora was when I was in LA, my skin this time just was not doing very well. Um, I think a lot of times when I travel, I end up breaking out a little bit, but this time it just really went to a whole new level. Um, a lot of it, when I got there, my lips were completely, completely like peeling off dry. The weather there was actually really nice. It wasn't as dry as normal, but I think the more I go back and forth, the more my skin is realizing a, I'm older, but B, my skin is realizing that the environment is not so friendly there. So um, I was using Rodan and Fields and nothing against the products at all. I've been using it for about the last year. I have some things that I really liked about it and there were some things that I wasn't really so sure about. But when I got to LA, I went and saw my esthetician there and she kind of gave me, um, for my particular skin in the moment, the retinol was just too much for me. Um, my skin was reacting and breaking out from way too much retinol. I had way too many dry spots and she said, go back to a basic skincare regimen, an easy, easy thing. So needless to say, I am going to try, um, Clinique. My sister uses Clinique and I wasn't really sure if I would like it. I used Dermalogica before and I really loved that. I also used some Peter Thomas Roth things. So I'm going to try Clinique. So I did get at Sephora some of the Clinique things. I got the um, Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. I also got the um, Clarifying Lotion Number 2 Dry Combination Toner. And... I had been watching a bunch of these videos, like I said, before I went into Sephora, and I saw Jaclyn Hills, I saw Makeup by Tiffany's, I'll link both of theirs um, below, but Jaclyn Hill did comment on the moisture surge, and this is something I actually saw one other person um, who I watch regularly, Christina Brawley, do a review, I think, at some point on it, so I really wanted to try it, and... I'm really excited about it. I think that it's a great just base lotion. It seems like it has great reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And Makeup by Tiffany also is kind of doing like a little summer thing on hers, which I was really excited about. We are going to Florida in a couple months. And so I wanted to get some things that just would be good for there. And she recommended this Acne Solutions BB Cream. And this um, I got in the shade Light. But um, it seems like it's a great thing, especially to have in the summer. It has SPF 40 in it. And it also is great for, I think sometimes when you end up being upset a lot and you're sweating, your makeup kind of gets cakey and icky and it can cause breakouts. So whether you have acne or not, it sounds like this is a really good one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. And it's just in a, like a big shake bottle, but that's what that looks like. Let's see. It'll focus. It may not focus, but it is in the shade light and it's kind of just a pore um, lid. So there's that. And what else did I get? Um, of course, the a bunch of free samples. I like this that they're doing them um, kind of this way. Um, 
kind of like it, kind of don't know, I don't know. And then I also got, my birthday is next week, so I got the birthday, um, I ended up getting the Tarte one, so. I also, this was another one that Makeup by Tiffany recommended, and I'm really excited to try it. It's called the No Highlighter Highlighter, and, um, I think that it will be great in the summer. I'm not a big glitter person, um, and I think that this is just so great. It's a little tiny bottle. And I actually did try some of their, some of their things, uh, while I was in there. And even like the eyeshadow, the no eyeshadow, eyeshadow or whatever it was, that looked great. Um, so we'll see. I, I'm excited to try. It comes in a little, it almost looks like, um, a lip thing, but I think it'll be really cool. I, it's re it's definitely lighter than like, say the Beck cosmetics, like that kind of stuff, but I don't even know if you'll be able to see on there. But yeah, I think it'll be good. I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes. So I got that and what else? I also got a new beauty blender. I got the black beauty blender this time. I have the pink ones and I have to tell you guys, it's embarrassing to say, I got a set of two or four when they first came out. One of the people who invented the beauty blender, from my understanding, was a makeup artist at the show that I worked on, and she brought in a whole bunch of them in these kits with the um, cleansing cleaner, I guess, whatever, that like had the sponge pump thing on the top or whatever. So she brought in a bunch of them, and I still am using the same one that I had that many years ago and that was probably 10 years ago I don't use it on a regular basis but now I'm going to start using it now that I have a new one maybe I don't know we'll see <laughs> and lastly I can't go to oh I also picked up another um Dior I might have gotten this at Nordstrom's but a Dior um minimize show maximizer 3d triple volume lash primer I have been loving this I as many people has said that they love it, it's so great. I also cannot leave any makeup store without buying lip products. I am addicted to lip products. I have way too many lip products. And the funny thing is I never even really wear lipstick. So I don't know why I continuously buy and I buy the most expensive ones. But needless to say, I bought the Hourglass. Um, this is Hourglass Girl in size, er, in color Liberator. Um, I'm such a sucker. I either want completely neutral nude colored lips or I want, years ago, MAC made one that was like a perfect summer color. It was a mix between like plum and pink and it was glossy looking and I adored it and it, I must have left it in my car. It melted. I've tried to find something that's similar. I still have a tiny bit, so I take it in to swatch it when I, like, try to find a color that's similar. And every time I buy stuff and I think it's similar and I get home and I wear it once or twice, and this will probably be another one of those, but needless to say, it's kind of like the chubby sticks, um, but it smells good, too. Kind of. I don't know. But this is the color. Um, like I said, it's called Liberator. I probably will be afraid of this bright color, but I do like it. Let's see if I can get it. To, I do like it. I just think on my lips it might be a little too bright, but well, to give it a go, um, I'm always excited to try new things. And I know that both Sephora and Ulta have great return, even Nordstrom's have great return policies. If you get it home and you don't like it, as long as you don't use a lot of it, I just hate using lipsticks and then returning them knowing that they're probably just going to go in the trash. Any beauty product, I feel like I kind of sometimes when it's more expensive things, I'll go back to Sephora and try it again before I actually take it out and commit to keeping it just because, I don't know, I hate spending that much money just know and I know that there's a huge markup but just like to go in the trash I don't know um one of my one of the people at Sephora recently told me that if it's not something like that you dip in like this if it's more like that they'll cut off the top where they clearly saw that you used it and they'll use it as testers I don't know if that's true or not but that makes me feel a little better I also got these um YSL um 
I don't even know what these really are called. They're tint in balm. And this is what they look like. I don't know what the light behind if you'll see them. But um, I got them in number one, Dream Me Nude. And number five, Dare Me Nude. And these are ones I'm actually going to go today. I have to go to the mall. So I'm going to try them again at Sephora and make sure that I like them. I definitely think I like this, um, the number one. You guys, it smells so good. It's like fruity and I don't know. So in the middle is a, I think more of like the gloss or like a balm. And then there's color on the side. Looking at this, this color kind of reminds me of like Boy by Chanel, which is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, so there's that one. And the next one is the Dare Me Plum. And this color is much more of a plummy color but they're really really sheer so I think that that might be a good color that won't be as scary as like this so we'll try those and see how that all goes so that was my Sephora haul okay <laughs> at Ulta I went in when it was the 20% off and was really bummed because most of the things that I wanted to get were not 20% off I was specifically going in to get um Dermalogica stuff and whatever and then I got some uh face products for my sister for her birthday so i did end up getting this peter thomas roth drench quench um i am really starting to try to get rid of this expression line in the middle of my forehead if you guys have any products that you 100 percent think work uh comment below and let me know um i have to say i love the rodan and fields um eye cream like under eye and like crow's feet whatever it is that i really really love and i've been using it with my clarisonic opal and i feel like i've gotten great results but for the middle of my forehead i'm just looking for some kind of good serum and this one is um hopefully gonna be good i will continue trying it and i will let you guys know how it works just comes in a little like serum thing but i do think that a big part of it is um apparently if it's not moisturized very well you're gonna get the wrinkles more who knows I buy the products I don't know much about them <laughs> which is probably not a good thing I also got the um confidence in a compact and this is in the color light and I am not 100% sure I've watched reviews on this and a lot of people did reviews I think that for PR they sent out a ton of these to people so there is a lot on YouTube um reviews on these but um, I I feel like when I do wear it it is like that sticky tacky kind of feeling but I do like something light I don't want a full coverage and I feel like this is a good buildable one um of course I'm a sucker for packaging I like their packaging the lady that was there talked me into the freaking brush that was more expensive than the compact I already have returned that I think that that is not necessary I have so many brushes I'm hoping that my artiste brush would work with this I'm not sure yet this verdict's still out I haven't even opened it because I'm still debating um and then when I took back the brush somebody um convinced me of course to get the bye bye under eye concealer i like that this one is a concealer and a highlighter i got it in the color medium um i'm not really sure again under eye concealers never seem to work for me i put them on and nine times out of ten regardless of what kind of mascara i'm wearing i tend to get more of like the dark underneath i don't know if i'm putting it on wrong i don't know if it's because i'm not putting enough setting powder underneath it i don't know if my eyes just don't like them so i did get this not sure again if i will end up keeping either of those um why they are still unused and in their packaging but last thing that I found at Norse or at um, Ulta, I was really excited about. So, so at Christmas time, I bought with my like nine points per dollar. So whatever the points things was at Nordstrom's, I bought these um, pillowcases, the Luminage pillowcases with a uh, skin rejuvenating pillowcase with copper or whatever, blah, blah, blah. They were $80 for two pillowcases. And I was like, of course I bought them. And before I even opened them, I was like, this is ridiculous. And I ended up getting a really cheap silk pillowcase from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it was really crunchy. And it was $8. And I got what I paid for for that. Needless to say, I went into Ulta. They had the pillowcases. They were... Um, I don't know how much they were $60 uh, for one marked down to 20. 
So I got two. I also got the eye mask. I don't really think I need all of that. But <laughs> I can always um, give them as gifts if I really like them. But here's what the pillowcase, excuse my really floppy pillowcase, but here's what the pillowcase looks like. It is soft. I've been using it the last couple nights. I don't think it's going to change the skin, my skin at all, but I do sleep on my face. And so I figured, you know, it might be nice to have something that's soft and whatever. I'll keep you updated on that. I definitely wouldn't run out and buy $80 pillowcases when they're $20, a little bit better price. And then I also had a discount on top of that. So it was good. All right, guys, last thing I, when I'm in LA, I tend to go to two beauty supply stores. One is called Namie's and the other is called Nigel's. If you are in LA and if you're in this makeup industry or entertainment industry, I'm sure you've heard of them. They cater to, um, the movie and television industry. It's kind of a good place where you can go and get stuff. Oh, if you are in that part of the field, you get a discount on it. You can buy stuff in bulk. Needless to say, the main reason why I went was because years ago I got a sandwich Ziploc bag full of amazing bobby pins. You guys, these bobby pins were like life changing. They were almost like gritty feeling or like it was a matte kind of paint on them. And maybe you can get them at other places. I just never knew. And it literally was like eight years and I finally ran out of the bobby pins and I knew I had to go and get them this time when I was in LA. It took me a minute to find them. I thought that they were at one store. They actually were at the other. Um, Nigel's, I'll link below both of their websites. If you're in LA, it's a great place. One's on Riverside. I don't remember where the other one is. Both in North, North Hollywood. Great, great um, places to go just because they literally have like everything. But part of that was the body pins were the reason why I went. And also my lips were literally like peeling off like I mentioned earlier. So I wanted to get something good for my lips. I, um... Let's see what else I like. I did um, pick up a bunch of these little like clippy things. I just fell on the floor. You guys know what they are. Um, just my hair is crazy. I also got these mascara spheres. I really like these. I use them um, to do my under eye lashes. I don't like a lot of mascara on my under eye. And I feel like when you dip it in the mascara wand, you get a lot more. And I don't know. To me, it's just like kind of tarantula -y and whatever. So I'm really excited about these. I usually will take just a little like sample ones that I got years ago. And these ones have the little ball on the top. So that's perfect to do like the under eye one. What I do is I use it for the top when I just put it on, use it for the top and whenever it's left over on the wand, I just kind of put on the bottom, I guess, I don't know. So those um, were cheap and I like those. I also, because of my lips, I did get this peppermint lip scrub, which is kind of, um, it's great. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's the front. It's great because um, I wanted to try this one, but you know, back home, whenever I travel, I always do this. Like back home, I have like four different kinds of lip scrubs. Out there, I don't have anything. I was there for two months. I needed something. So I went and bought, of course, like a really nice one. Um, same thing, like I got out there and I brought all jeans and it started being really hot. So I need to go get shorts. And I swear, I never, never pack the right things. But so I got the peppermint lip scrub. It's really great. I love peppermint. I also got Glam Glow Wet Lips. This um is a really, really big pot. And I don't know how deep it really goes in here. But I feel like that's a, a big, big portion. And I actually kept this little, it's like sticky on the top. And I kept that on. But, um. Bentley, no. But here is, it smells so good too. It's definitely pepperminty and it's very, very wetening. But um, I didn't realize that you could buy this at, I think at Sephora even. So that I would recommend if you, you know, aren't in the market for buying a really wetening looking lip conditioner, um, at least try it on when you're in Sephora. I really like it. Uh, Life-changing, game-changer in my lip products is this Lucas Paw Paw. It's really big apparently in um, Australia and overseas. I have never seen it here. And you guys, I literally put this on for one day, not even a full day. I think it was probably, I was awake from probably like 11 after I bought it till probably like 10 o'clock at night. And I put it on, I bet 10 times throughout the day. And my lips were like 
amazing. I cannot tell you enough. In fact, I bought a huge bottle of it before I left and my boyfriend's obsessed with it too. He's like, nothing is as good as this. It does leave your lips glossy. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for men, but when we're sitting watching TV or whatever, he'll just throw it on and he's like in love with it too. I also gave it to two people while I was there. It's a game changer. This is what it looks like. I'll see if I can find um, a link for it uh, and put it on in my description box below. But this is seriously amazing. I wish that it was more readily available here. Or maybe it is and I just never noticed. But it's amazing. Um, I also bought these great little, these are called vanity caps. They're for your water bottle. You just stick them on top of your water bottle and you put a straw through them. When you're working in this industry, um, whether for us, it's we people sometimes are really, really messy and they drink water bottles and it spills on their costumes and it's a whole thing. If you're in uh, makeup, obviously you don't want to ruin their lips. So these are great. I bought them just to put in my kit. I also bought, um, oh, these coconut lip, lip love, um, masks, lip masks. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, in fact, the um, Lucas Pawpaw ointment was so great. I thought that I literally would be like working on making my lips normal for like a couple of days and I wasn't. It was literally like a few hours. But this I'm really excited to try. I'm really into masks lately. Hair masks, face masks, um, apparently lip masks, whatever. So I'm really excited to try those. I haven't yet. It might be kind of a little treat. But so those I got and two more things. I got couple of these little, um, these you can get anywhere, just little pots to put, you know, your lipstick in or whatever. Um, I need to, to mix some new lipsticks, uh, from old ones that I have, or just colors that I don't necessarily love that I want to blend together. So I got those. And lastly, the one thing that I really, really went looking for were Nigel's bobby pins. So these are called matte bobby pins. This is the color brown. And the SKU number is 26380 on the larger ones. And for the smaller ones, 59474. Here is the bigger one. And like, I seriously, these are amazing. And there may have ones. I'm not a huge like bobby pin connoisseur. They may make them. They may be at like, I don't know, Sally's or maybe even Ulta. I don't know. But these just are amazing. They kind of have a little bit of a um, bend to them which I like, and I don't know if you can really tell how great they are. They're matted. Um, they're just great. They, they like just hold in your hair. Not that I'd ever put a bobby pin right here, but like they hold in there really well. Like, I don't know. It's something great. So there's my favorite things for you. So thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely go ahead and leave them below. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. I think I've been on here too long and I'm not thinking. And it comes, no barking. Let's have a heart attack in that moment. So that sounds really crucial. That sounds like, no, I wouldn't say a heart attack. Let's try that one again. Because I had bought in these, well, I didn't even buy them. Can you stop growling, please? Thank you. Let me, Put it on white paper, maybe you'll be able to see. The end. I should just start ending just saying the end and being done and not giving this whole spiel. I wonder if people get annoyed with this. Anyways.